Earlier this year, I shared a video of a very special and personal journey back to Italy where I studied during my younger days. For anyone who may have missed it, there will be a link in the description and at the end of this video. It was undoubtedly my favorite video of 2023 to share with you guys. During this epic adventure in Florence, and a few days before departing for Milan, we were invited for a quick chat with none other than Sandro Frattini. For those who are not aware, Sandro is not only one of the most highly respected watch collectors in the world and a true business entrepreneur, but also, and forgive me for being a bit déclassé here, he's the owner of the most prestigious collection of watches worth over 1 billion euros. Sandro Frattini, how are you, sir? And you? Very well, thank you. Very well. What a beautiful hotel. Thank you. You've modeled this beautiful hotel for, with your love of watches. How, how did this start? I fell in love for watches when I was uh, nine years old. Nine years old. Because wow. uh, for my first communion, a parent gave me uh, a gift, uh, a watch. Right. A poor watch, not uh, important watch. And this was here in Firenze? In Firenze, right. yeah, it was a Longines, ah, okay. um, gold field, uh -huh. not gold. Right, right, right. <laughs> but for me, it was uh, something exceptional, yeah. uh, unique, and the movement, uh, the rotism, you know, for me, it was magic. Magic, right. And my love story uh, begin, uh, began in uh, this uh, in this way. Do you know how many watches you have now? I never count, I don't know, but approximately, I think, 2,000. 2,000 watches. Uh, so, what are your favorite watches? I love uh, a lot of watches, I think, oh, I never thought about the value of the, the watch, right. you know? Because when I catch them you know, yeah. in my life, uh, for me, uh, was an emotion, uh -huh. something special, no? Uh -huh. For my heart, right, right. so, uh, for me, never mind. If uh, uh, in uh, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, it became a value so huge like uh, it is in uh, this year. I have to ask, what is your wristwatch check? Because it's Chai Sun Force. I have this. Uh, that's a Squale 1521. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. But you've also brought two other watches here. They are not my favorite, but for me, uh, they have a meaning uh, very strong. Mm -hmm. Because this one uh, is uh, the watch that I, I was 18 years old, before my grandmother gave me the watch, because right, right, right. I had no money. Right. And so all my earnings, mm -hmm. uh, all my life, I broke my pig, yeah. <laughs> and, nice. uh, and I take uh, $400. Four hundred dollars. So for me, huge, no, right. a, a huge amount, and uh, I like very much because it's something special for me. Also, this is uh, gold filled. This is a uh, oyster perpetual. Oyster perpetual, yes, beautiful. with a brown dial. Brown dial. Brown dial, very, very rare. Yeah, I never met uh, another. I like this how you say I never met, come un persone, I might encontrare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For me, this is the, there aren't uh, simple uh, objects, no? no. Yeah, they yeah. are something... Uh, so, uh, like you said earlier, it's like a love affair. Yeah. Right, I love that. I love this that. is a love story, no? Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. my life uh, with uh, watches. Do you still wear this? Uh, no, because you... Now, this uh, I, I like to wear. But the other, more important, like value, I don't wear because uh, I prefer I prefer to to take for for me, uh -huh. not to show up the other. Right, no? right, right. The first reason. The second reason is the value. 
because the value now is very, crazy, it's and so Francesco, crazy, yeah. crazy, yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. and so uh, I prefer to take in my safety box. Yeah. So you might be wondering at this point, which watch am I wearing? Well, this was a tough one, I must admit. What watch do you wear to meet a person who has one of the biggest collections in the world? I decided to put on something I knew he wouldn't own, but that also pays tribute to some of his most beloved early Rolex Oyster watches, the 36 mm Safari I co-designed with Laurier, on the original olive and black melange pearl on strap by Wrist Candy Watch Club. This is a watch you were telling me that you searched for tutta tua vita. I, I cercato per questo. Yeah, the first time that I saw this watch was in a shop uh, of Luca, uh, Carli, in uh -huh. Via Fillungo. One of the first dealers that I know in my life. Mm -hmm. No? I have these watches, but uh, just sold. So, uh, he cannot give me, no? And I looking for it for all my life. Mm -hmm. And I found it five years ago. I bought it, uh, and so I am very, very happy about it's, it. It's beautiful. It's yes, very the classic. dial is fantastic. In English, we would say this, this has class, just class. Yes. So, you know, this is not, it's not like showing off. I know why I love this watch. I know, but tell me, what, what was the first thing that you... For me, it's emotion. Uh -huh. Emotion because... Uh, I touch the watch, uh -huh. it's a feeling, you know, it's a feeling with, uh, with, uh, with it, you know. I cannot describe, the <laughs> but it, it's something, uh, I have no words right, right, for, uh, right. for describe my, my emotion. It's beautiful. The long jeans was the communion watch, right? This watch here you bought with your own money when you first, I, I, prima volta hai guadagnato un po' di soldi, you bought this. So then, how, how did this happen? What, what, <laughs> how, did, how did it turn into this? Uh, yes, this has been possible because uh, for my job. Because my job is produce jeans, blue jeans. Mm -hmm. The name was a Rifle. And I made a, make a book, My Time, in collaboration with Christie. In every page, the denim. Right. So oh, yes, I've you, seen the book. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Because it's a uh, light motive of my life. Right, 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 right. And so, uh, this is... So without the denim, you wouldn't be able to find... This. Impossible. Yeah. Without denim, impossible for that's, me. That's very poetic. Sandro has taken his passion for watches beyond that of perhaps any other enthusiast by building a series of horologically inspired hotels. In fact, the very room we are recording in is on the ground floor of his hotel L'Orologio in Florence. This Patek-themed area was complete with world timers on the wall and giant busts of Patek and Philippe. Every bathroom and hallway, along with some floors even, contains paintings or artworks of his pieces from his collection. This is then mixed with characteristically traditional Florentine design and decor, but always combined with motifs and design elements found in horology, almost everywhere. It's kind of fun to spot, from mosaics in the floors, constellations in the ceiling, to the Calatrava hobnail bezel inspired metallic patterns on the walls of the breakfast room. I get this question a lot. If I was on a desert island, you know, forse la barca è andata giù, eh, I'm on this island, the solo. If I'm on a desert island alone, what watch would you, would you take with you? What watch I prefer? Yeah. I have not uh, necessarily one watch that I prefer because I love them. Um, oh. So you, you wouldn't take any? But, but if you ask me one, uh, there are two. Okay. The first one is... I, I, think, I think we can allow you to, okay? <laughs> so, I think we allow you to. Uh, um, the first one is Patek Philippe Chrono, Serpico e Laino, very rare. Right. And they like very much, in uh, yellow gold. Yellow gold. I noticed you have a thing, because even when you were young, you liked, got, like, Oro Giallo. 
See? Is this a, is this a, like a something special to you? No, because they love uh, steel very uh -huh. much. My preferred watch is steel. Right. And then um, yellow gold, being gold, why not the platinum? I love. Uh, if the watches are uh, beautiful, uh -huh. never mind uh, the material that they are. The other watch that I like is uh, a Prince Rolex. Uh -huh. It's not very commercial watches. In steel. Quadrato? Rectangular. Rectangle, Rectangular. right. Rectangular. Right, right. Yes, with uh, a little window with the number of uh, the hour, uh -huh. the jump. Ah, and uh, yeah. I like it uh, very much. But those are like old, right? Yes, yeah. 20, 30. Yeah. Wow. Nobody ever talks about those watches. Yes, because the market uh, is uh, not so hot for this kind of uh, yeah. watches, but uh, I love them. Right, right, nice, nice. Ah, con il logo bellissimo. Oh. <laughs> Questo è incredibile. Per quello che volevo farti vedere. Ok. I want to have a bathroom like this, I think. <laughs> Sandro, I, I gotta have this in my bathroom. This is, this is amazing. What is like the rarest watch in your collection? 1518 in steel, Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. Yes, it's uh, the most rare. Uh... I'm not sure of references because, forgive me, I'm not a Patek collector. I wish I was. You're but, right. <laughs> but it's a perpetual. It's, it's a, a perpetual. perpetual. And do you know what a year? Roughly? Yeah, roughly is uh, 40. At the beginning of the fourth year, yeah. Right. Us, the, the collectors in the United States and England and a lot of my audience, actually, anche italiani, they have like a grail watch. Is there something, un sogno? Che so, voi... the, the, the real uh, dream is uh, the same watch, the 15... Oh, the same uh, one? The same, because uh, it's uh, the dream the dream of every uh, watch collector of vintage. Right, so you have one, but you I want... I have two. You have two, yeah. so you want three. Then the, oh, the production version? thing is uh, five, six, no more. Ah, you want to have them all? I have two. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing, that's amazing. Have you got advice for new collectors? What, what would you say to a younger, uno, uno Sandro più giovane, what would you say? Follow your art, yeah. Because uh, uh, buy what uh, you like uh, really. Don't listen the market, the value. Don't ask if uh, the watch that uh, I buy today in one year, two yeah, years, yeah, yeah, yeah. the value is double. Uh, no, this is not uh, the right approach with uh, with the watches. I totally the, the watch agree. is something. To love, not something for earning. Very stock exchange, everything. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. The watch is a different matter. Exactly. I think. Exactly. And my my suggestion is uh, follow what you like. Follow what you like, guys. Are you listening? Eh? Ho detto questo per anni, anni ho detto questo. <laughs> is there like a, a period of time, uh, like an age, that is your favorite when it comes to watches? My favorite period is uh, from 40 to 50, uh -huh. roughly, at the end of the 30, because uh, in uh, Patek Philippe, there is, uh, the chrono that I like, uh, I don't say the reference, but uh, it's very difficult, but also in Rolex, uh, the moon phase with star, uh, the data compacts, uh, and also split second, uh, uh, very rare. Yeah. They produce only 12. Uh, amazing watch. Yeah, wow. Yeah. This is my favorite period. But I gotta ask, right now, is there a brand that is impressing you more than anybody else? Yes, I, I like also modern watch. Eh? Not only vintage. My heart uh, is for Always vintage, vintage, of yeah. course. But in modern, I, I like very much the Marpiguet. 
Because uh -huh. the Mac PK is a fantastic brand for me. Is there any particular reasons? Uh, yes, uh, I like uh, the shape of uh, Royal Oak. Uh, fantastic shape, uh, design of Gerard Gent is yeah. uh, fantastic. Yeah. And so I like very much. So when did you start this hotel? I start uh, 20 years ago. Uh -huh. uh, because so I put together my passion for watches and the hotel. I travel a lot in uh -huh. my life. Right. I try to put in my hotel the soul, something different, no? But I cannot find the hotel where I, I went when I... And so this is something with every detail speaks about my passion, no? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because uh, uh, there is... Uh, I don't know in English. Yes, yeah, the, 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 even the sink taps. The taps is yeah. the crown of, of Rolex. The, uh, yes, yeah. the hands of the is uh, the Mercedes. Right, right, right. The Mercedes of Submariner, no, GMT. Something yeah. little de details, but uh, uh, for create an atmosphere, no? Uh -huh. Something magic, I, I hope. Yeah. But I have two hotels with the name Lo, L'Orologio. Ah, okay. In Florence, in Venice, and in Rome. Ah, okay. So, three different, different. Every room, a picture, oil picture, with a, a watch of my, of my collection. Right. I think, I think Sandro has taken watch collecting to a whole new level. I'm just saying, hai portato collecting a un altro livello adesso. Not collecting, but passion. But passion, oh yes. We speak about love, we, we am a lover. Yeah. Sandro does not like to be considered a collector. No. You, you, you like to, because you, you've never sold the watch you bought. Yeah, because uh, my life it was a love story. Love story, yeah. I don't collect the watch, yeah. I love them. Right, well you heard it here first, there you go. Meeting Sandro was not only an experience I will never forget, but also highly inspiring. It reinforced and affirmed some of my own core beliefs as well, when it comes to this passion for watches we all share. Sandro, with his highly infectious love for watches, proves it's not always just about value, and all watches are worthy of respect, no matter how rare, or how much, or how little they cost. I never got a sense of any snobbery from him, he was just as interested in my watch as he was talking about those he loved. One can learn a lot from Sandro about watches, but perhaps more importantly, how to treat everyone with respect, no matter who or where they're from. And that, my dear gentry, is pure class. Sandro, thank you so much. It, it, really a pleasure. Thank you, Ate. Uh, it's a pleasure. I mean, it's a pleasure for me. This place is amazing. I'm coming back. I'm going to come to the, the Venice and anche Roma. It's a promise. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to add your thoughts, queries, comments, all the rest of it down below. Also, if you enjoy content like this, I mean, it's easy for me to make this. I mean, this is, this is a pleasure. So uh, don't forget to like this video and we will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao. Edit.